The first time you open up SketchUp, you're going to get a screen that looks a little something like this. What you're going to want to do first is come down to where it says template and hit the little right pointing arrow and it'll show you different templates that you can use within there. Depending on where you are in the world and what industry you're working in will determine which of these templates you wish to use. I'm in Australia and we use a metric system here. Millimeters are great for doing finer detail. So I'm going to select that. And you can also come down here and uncheck always show me on startup and hit start using SketchUp. You may also want to come up to this learn section and check out the blog and you'll find some really interesting things on there that will help you get proficient in SketchUp really quickly. So I'm going to hit start using SketchUp. Once SketchUp loads, you'll see a screen something like this. It'll be different depending on your version. Now, there's a couple of things that I like to do first to set up my workspace. If we come up to Window and down to Preferences, we can go to Workspace. And if this was me working on a normal project, I would have Use Large Tool Buttons turned off and I would go OK. This shrinks down our buttons. Um, it makes us have more workspace in the center to see our project. However, for doing these uh, tutorials, I'm going to leave it on. We can also go back to template and change. If we decide that we didn't like the template that we chose in the first screen, millimeters, we could find another one another one that's an imperial or maybe you're working on such a large project that meters are a better unit to work in. We can also make our own custom shortcuts in this section and there are other things in here that are really helpful but we won't get into them at this point in time. The next thing I'd encourage you to do which is quite helpful is to come up to view toolbars and I would use this large tool set. Uh, this pops up a new toolbar which we can place over on the left. The standard toolbar that comes up is great. Uh, it has a lot of the things that you use very often in this larger tool set. just has a few more options um, that I'll talk about throughout the videos. I'm going to leave it there over on the left. If I double click on it, it'll snap and dock itself onto this left side here. If I want it to undock so I can move it somewhere else, this dotted line work uh, tells me where to click and I can either hold down my left mouse button and drag or I could also double click and that'll uh, unsnap it. And this could then be docked somewhere else as well.